Hi everyone, it's Brittany here, and I have a couple cards that I've been working on um, I want to show you guys. So firstly, I used this stamp set in a couple of them. Um, it's by Inka Dinka Do, and it is called um, Wellspring. Sorry that the lighting is terrible in here today. Um, so yeah, I really have been using this stamp quite a bit. I like it a lot. And then for this card, I used this tree here. Um, and this is by Autumn Leaves. And it is Tis the Season. Um, so yeah. And then I just inked it. Or, I'm sorry, I embossed it with this embossing powder. It's called Pesto by Recollections. And then for the flourishes, I stamped them in Hero Arts Red Royal. And then I just did the layered card. I've been really liking these cards. Um, so I did it, and I kind of, I'm not sure about it because it's kind of hard to read um, some of the words in there. But I think it still turned out really cute. And then I just um, backed, each layer is layered on craft paper. And then it's just blank for now on the inside. And then for this card, um, I used a lot of scraps, but for the main... Piece. I got that out of this paper pad, um, cut and paste, and that is still available in my shop if you're interested. And then um, for the rosette, I just cut that out of my silhouette. Um, for the happy birthday, I used my die. Oh, here it is. Um, so yeah, I used that for the happy birthday, and then I just used some scrap paper, the black, and then some pink to mat it on. And then on the inside, I just used those scraps to... Put a little liner on the bottom. So I thought that one was kind of cute, kind of more fun. And then this one is the other one I used the flourishes on. And I hope you guys can see it. Um, but they're all embossed around the main image here. And I just did them in clear. Um, I thought about inking it, but I decided I didn't want to because it looks really nice. And then I put this stamp set away already, but it's also Inka Dinka Do. And I think it's called Flower Sentiments. Um, so yeah, there's a rose and then it just says love all throughout. But it's a really pretty card. And then I just used some shimmer cardstock um, for the layering on that. And the top layer is um, on pop dots. And then the inside of that is blank as well. And then um, this is a Halloween one. And for this one I used... This paper pad here, Haunted, by My Mind's Eye. And I just used the chevron one. And then um, for this Happy Halloween and the little candy corns down here, I had bought this Kane Company um, Spooptacular die cut cardstock. And I really have been enjoying these. Um, there it was, let's see, there's 140 pieces in here. There's a ton. And there's like doubles, and um, one of each has the sparkle and then one of each doesn't but I thought it was really cute so I just wanted to use that as my focal point and then I just put some black twine around the back and then on the inside this was another one of the little embellishments that I tried to make um this one's a little bit better but I just used one of those die cuts and then the brew wasn't shiny so I just used my um stardust gel pen and I went over that, and then I just inked the edges with black slit distress ink. And then I used some of um, these pins to do the orange, the souffle pins. So um, they kind of, I don't know, they're supposed to have more dimension, and they don't really, they're not my favorite, but I have them, so I'm trying to use some. And then, yeah, I just put some of the scrap up there. And then this is the last one, and this one is probably my favorite. Um, so this is the Get Well Soon card. And um, I just used the My Mind's Eye stamp set, which I think I also put away. But it has um, these two flowers on it. And I just thought they were so cute, so I wanted to emboss those. So I white embossed those all over these. And then um, this is the Stampin' Up! Modern Label Punch in the... Uh, word window punch so I just put those on there and um, then I just dressed in Victorian velvet 
and I used a piece of, um, it was this, and I just used it because it matched and I had enough to use it, um, for the matting, and those top two layers are on, um, foam tape, so I like that one. I thought it was really cute, and the inside is blank, but, um, yeah, so those are my cards for now. I just finished a mini album, too, so I will be back on later. Um, thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys are having a great day.